If you're afraid of spiders, welcome to the club. And if you're one of those people who underestimate these stick-thin predators, you'll probably reconsider your thoughts after this. Imagine facing a spider the size of your hand. I wouldn't want to be that guy. Number 10. Biggest Camel Spider in the World the camel spider has been a gem to the world in existence for more than 300 million years. It's an enormous creature, though its size makes it look a little bit creepy. Although I promise, they're not. They prefer desert settings and they don't mind the scorching sun. Not much is actually known about this species, however, but it has been around before the cradle of man. The largest known of this ancient species measured 15 centimeters, if not more. Soldiers stationed in Iraq and Afghanistan have had a close-up encounter with this giant spider species, with most of them afraid of their presence since whenever they were around, they'd keep chasing them. The camel spider is harmless and lacks poison, but if you were to be confronted with one, how long do you think you'd be able to hold out before you ran for the hills? Number 9. Giant Huntsman Spider for human beings, measuring anything less than 5 foot 7 usually means you're more on the shorter side. But when we talk about crawling, hairy insects, even being a foot long guarantees you a near page in the Guinness Book of Records as the giant of its kind. With that in mind, what do you think people say about the giant huntsman spider whose length is about a foot tall? For its kind, this spider is so huge it can't even hide behind a calendar without parts of its legs peeking out. Lucky for you, it doesn't usually like roaming in houses, but instead prefers dark caves, away from chaos and noise. In such a serene environment, it can hunt in peace, away from any curious human. Fun fact, these spiders are common as pets, which is kind of creepy to think. Why would you want to keep one of these exotic breeds? Number 8. Gramostola The Gramostola spider is the grim reaper of all spiders. But that isn't because it's dangerous, instead, it's because of its grim appearance that terrifies anyone who comes into contact with it. This huge monster measures up to 10 inches in size. That's about 5 times the size of a normal looking spider. But I'm not sure if the size is the scariest thing about the Gramostola spider. The Gramostola spider is part of a family that is very hairy. And in my opinion, too hairy for a spider. Also, this nightmare can live up to 30 years, hunting, torturing, and mating for so many years. You can tell that you've seen one of these spiders by its hairy legs and body. It wraps up the look with a brown pigmented color all over its body too. On the upside, its bite might sting a little, but it's non-lethal. Little is actually known about this spider, generally due to its discreet living habits. And for most of us, it isn't an issue, as all the action and drama with this spider happens in its habitual home deep in the rainforest of Uruguay. Number 7. The Goliath Bird Eater This spider is the Goliath of the Spider Kingdom, with its body occupying a one-foot-wide space given their distinguished strength. This spider doesn't need a spider web to hunt prey. This spider ambushes unsuspecting rodents and frogs, among others, using their natural camouflage on fallen leaves. Just looking at the kind of prey it munches on kind of puts my nerves on edge. Their fangs are one inch long and can tear through flesh. It bites prey, injecting a neurotoxin into their prey. And what will scare you more is how it consumes the prey. Imagine it doesn't waste time chewing, but instills digestive juices into the prey's flesh, turning that into liquid, then sucking up all the liquefied flesh, leaving nothing but bones, skin, and fur. Someone call an exterminator! Number 6. Brazilian Wandering Spider The Brazilian Wandering Spider earned its adorable name from its constant tendencies of wandering the jungle floor. It's also identified as the banana spider, but don't let the name fool you because these species feed on large insects, mice, lizards, and you name it. The Brazilian wandering spider is more dangerous in densely populated places like our homes. This is because they're a stealthy spider, mastering the element of disguise, hiding well during the day. But come nightfall, it's time to come out and play. This species packs one of the most devastating venoms besides its giant creepy looks. If you get bitten by this crawling monster, seek immediate medical treatment. They're one of the most dangerous spiders on the globe. Run! Number 5. Pseudoclamorous gigas 
Pseudoclamorous gigas can be recognized by their unique color pigmentation. Their abdomen and legs are covered in a bright orange color, whereas their carapace fades away in the same color. They boast an impressive leg span and they opt to hide in tree cavities where hopefully no one will disturb them. The giant species, like their name suggests, is one to be feared because they deliver one of the most painful bites. Research describes their venom to be less lethal than expected, but I'm not sure anyone would like to put that to a test. Any volunteers? Number 4. Tegenaria Pariatina The Tegenaria Pariatina is an ancient spider native to North Africa, Asia, and parts of the West Indies. This spider has our attention due to its enormous size. Ranging from 20 millimeters in females and 17 in males, you probably wouldn't believe me when I tell you that their leg span is three times their body size, making them resemble something from a horror film. Their reddish-brown pigmentation is only visible in adult spiders, with their young ones a little bit paler. They're famously known as the Cardinal Spider due to an incident with a church leader back in the day. They enjoy hiding in buildings and on dark corners on the wall, so if you come across any of these, handle it with care if you can, or even better, get some professional help, because the Tegenaria pariatina is a handful. Number 3. Colombian Lesser Black Tarantula The Colombian Lesser Black Tarantula is a spider indigenous to the humid weather of Colombia. It spends its days hiding away because of the hot sun and spends their nights hunting and socializing with others of its kind. And because their eight tiny eyes clustered on their face are almost useless to it, it depends on another sense to aid in hunting. It uses the hairs on their legs and body to feel vibrations of things around it, allowing it to find food easily. And when danger strikes, this is a fast alert for the spider to attack or run. Number 2. The Brazilian Salmon Pink Bird Eater Tarantula this spider is unarguably the largest tarantula in the book. It ranks as the fourth biggest spider worldwide because a mature one can grow up to 11 inches. Like all other tarantulas, this one's also very hairy, but it comes with benefits. The spider uses the hair to differentiate between food and waste, since it's almost blind. Their eight clustering eyes only help tell the difference between darkness and light. However, its inability hasn't derailed any hunting in its life whatsoever. They can be distinctly identified by their pinkish pigment when young, which turns black to brown when matured. Number 1. Hercules Baboon Spider Hercules Baboon Spider is three words I never thought I'd say together, but there we have it. A hundred years ago in our world lived a treacherous spider known as the Hercules Baboon Spider. A mature spider of the species grows up to 20 centimeters in diameter, and for a spider that is huge enough to fit on your dinner plate, in addition to its large size, it's quite hairier than most. This might be because it originates from the tarantula spider species known for their hairy legs and bodies. For insects and small animals, the Hercules baboon spider venom is a no-go due to its lethality. They simply spread two legs apart and expose a deadly set of fangs before biting their intended prey. The spider is indigenous to Africa, especially Nigeria. And if you've been wondering why the name Hercules baboon, you're in luck because we wouldn't close the video without letting you in on the gist. It was given the peculiar name Hercules due to their strength capable of taking down prey bigger than itself. The name baboon comes from the way its legs are structured so much like a baboon's hand. I'm just wondering, are you sure this creature wasn't made in a lab? See you next time.